Cedarburg Cultural Center would like to welcome Catherine Klemp as a November artist in residence. Welcome, Catherine. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. Can you uh, start a little bit and by telling us uh, what kind of media you work in? I work in open acrylics, and I, I used to work in oil paints, and I switched to open acrylics, and it's the same as regular acrylics, only it takes a lot longer to dry. So you get a little bit of that time that you did with oil um, that normal acrylics wouldn't give you. And so there's a lot of cool effects I can get, um, like removing paints, you know, by putting more paint on when it just starts to dry a little bit. And you can just get all these neat effects that I couldn't get with regular acrylics. Who or what are your inspirations? And what is it about art that excites you? Um, right now, there's three artists that I, I, I mean, there's quite a few artists that I really like and that I'm inspired by, but I would say right now, um, Reggie Baylor, um, Jason Rolfe, um, and probably Brian Rutenberg, um, and they're all very different from each other, and I don't really paint like either, any of them, really, but I love a lot of the qualities of their painting, and I respect a lot of what they're doing, so... Mm. Um, and what inspires me about, or what was the last part? What was it about art that excites you? Oh, yeah, exploration and finding something new that you didn't know the paint could do. So, um, for me, this is exciting um, because I'm, you know, I'm using a brayer instead of a brush most of the time. I'm touching this up with a brush right now, I'm laying over it with a brush. But usually, I use the brayer, and I'd never done that before. I was always using brushes, and it's having all these like really neat effects come through that I couldn't do with a brush. Um, almost photographic in some ways, like it's just really neat, really neat effects. So exploration to me, I would say, and um, just always challenging myself. So why did you choose to be an artist? I went to school two years for psychology at Madison and um, found that all my favorite classes were the art classes. So then I uh, switched to art school went to UW Milwaukee and got my art degree there. Um, and I continue to do it because I, I just am sad when I don't, so. So what have been some of your obstacles along the way? And in the same regard, what have been some of your greatest successes? My greatest success, um, it, where at least I felt it felt the best, uh, you know, that again changes per year, I'm sure. But um, is when I sold five pieces to the state of Wisconsin, the, the collection that they had. And I would say for obstacles, um, boredom is my biggest obstacle because then I just don't want to paint. So that's why I, I've noticed for me, I need to always be exploring and pushing myself and challenging myself uh, to learn and to adapt and change, um, or I get bored. And how do you continue to challenge yourself? Um, well, I had to really step out. I painted the same thing for about 10 years and got bored. And I really had to allow myself the freedom to paint uh, just whatever interested me. and and allow myself to explore without um, feeling like I, it had to be what people expected. And so I'm just very open and, and allowing myself to paint whatever is coming to me at that time. And what are your dreams and plans for the future as it relates to your career in the arts? Well, I, I really hope to um, show more and I really hope to um, continue to explore and continue to challenge myself. Um, and to share with other artists as well. Um, I love forging those relationships with other artists and learning from each other, and I like to expand that, I think. Wonderful. Well, thanks again for being with us here at the Cedarburg Cultural Center here for the month of November. It was really terrific having you. Well, thanks for, thanks for having me. It was great.